welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time for you guys. Um, also a mukbang, mukbang, I don't know what they're called. Um, I hear different versions, but we've been wanting to do one of these for a while. And I'm here for the story time. Yvette's here for the, the food. food. <laughs> I'm here for the food. I was telling her, I was like, I want to film a, a story time, but... I don't know if I want to do it with food or just do a story time. And if you guys hear Louis barking, there's like dogs barking crazy outside and he's going crazy. But we picked up Chinese food. There's a restaurant here in Stockton called Dave Wong's. It's like one of the best restaurants that serves Chinese food, at least from my opinion. I don't, I don't know. But we picked up some Chinese food, so we're just going to be eating. We're going to set up our plates and then, yeah, let's get started. But I'm excited for food. I, I love to eat. And <laughs> I love to tell you guys the cheese mess. So, what perfect way then to combine it together? And then I like hearing the cheese mess and eating the food. Yeah. So the story time that I'm gonna share with you guys today. Um, hold on. Let me shut my dog up. Louis. The sh story time that I'm gonna be telling you guys today. It's actually pretty funny because Yvette, you know, she, we're really close. But when she was younger, when she was like 15 14 years old like i really wouldn't tell her my business and i wouldn't really tell her anything so when i was in high school even though we've been really close in age she was still really little to me like i would think of her as like a little girl so i really wouldn't share her stuff so there's a lot of stuff that i tell her now and she's like you never told me about that but this story specifically i was telling her about it today and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna finish telling you on camera so you can get like a real reaction rather than me just sit here and tell you and you hear it all over again, you know? So I'm gonna hear it with you guys. Yes. But let me just prep my food before we start talking. And we eat all of our chicken with ketchup. Mm hmm. All of it. We got hella food. So we have lemon chicken, chow mein, chicken fried rice, and chicken fried chicken. Garlic fried chicken. <laughs> I said chicken fried chicken. Chicken. Garlic fried chicken. I need to make sure I release them for Lisa's because it's gonna be like, you went to Day Wong's and didn't bring me food. He loves Day Wong's. Okay. You ready? For the cheese man? So, oh, I brought you water here. Mine's the pink one. Why can't I have the pink one? Because that's my water bottle. Because I'm wearing all pink today. Thank you. Let's get this shorted. Hold on, let me post my picture real quick. This fried rice is so good. I love it. The only thing I hate about Charmaine is that they never, they usually, they always put more cebolla than noodles. I freaking hate that. I want to take a bite of this just because it sounds it sounds like crunchy so i want to like take a big bite okay you sure go okay you know it's crazy because like people think like so many things are satisfying but i feel like mukbangs mukbangs whatever they're called have been so popular lately because people love i don't have napkins in here there's tissue. People have. People love to listen to people eat. And I'm one of those people that loves to watch people eat. Like, I love watching Wendy's eating show. Oh, yeah. She's fucking alive. She is. Trisha Paints. She's my fucking spirit animal. But, anyways. Back to the cheese man. So, you guys have seen my story times where I talk about relationships and my ex-boyfriend. And I've only been in one serious relationship with a guy. Wait, I've never been with a girl. <laughs> I've never been with a girl. <laughs> no, we know. With a guy? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Actually, women never really caught my attention like that. Mm -mm. Um, anyways, so, my ex-boyfriend was like the only serious relationship I ever had aside from Lisa's. But 
just because he was my only serious relationship doesn't mean that I didn't have like other guys that like I would talk to, you know? <laughs> I had my fair share of men. I'm just kidding, I'm not in the hell, okay? But Lisa's is funny because whenever we have these conversations, because I'm very open with my husband, a little too open sometimes, but I always tell him like of guys that I would talk to and I would be like, well, he wasn't serious. He wasn't my boyfriend. And then Lisa's like, well, what's your definition of somebody serious? Because I always tell him about like, a guy or oh I used to talk to him or something like that and he'll be like okay because all these people are coming out of nowhere but honestly it's just because when I was in high school I mean you would talk to guys you know you have those guys that you just talk to and you're just there and they're you know there but, there but I'm gonna talk to you guys about the one fucking guy that was in my life that you know he's bad for you <laughs> but you're just sticking around like you know it's not gonna work you know that there's no potential you know that there's no future you know that there's no way you guys would even work out but you just want to have him there to like make out with and like be there you know so that was like my guy in high school okay so this guy um i known i've known him for a while now and at the time i had just broke up with my ex-boyfriend and I actually hadn't met Ulises yet. I don't think I've had met Ulises at that time because I met Ulises when I was out of high school. So he was kind of like that in-between guy for me. Like every time me and my ex-boyfriend would break up, um, I kind of go to him, me consolaba, and then, you know, would come back. But we never did anything either, okay? Also, guys, I've only had sex with two guys. I know TMI, but I've only had sex with my ex-boyfriend and my husband. So just throwing that out there. Um, but in me consolaba, you know, we would feel better. He would feel better and... You I mean, I would better. feel better, and that was my that was my time. But when we graduated from high school, we never really went out. It was just kind of like we would just kind of mess around, make out, talk, and he would listen to my problems, and that's all it was. So um, we started dating, and it was kind of weird at first when we started dating because. I knew that there was no way I would ever bring this guy home. Like I would never be able to introduce this guy to my parents, to my family. And mind you guys, his ex-girlfriend hated me for some weird reason. I feel like she, he probably told her like shit that didn't even happen or made it seem like it was more than what it was just to get hyped up. So I honestly feel like he probably told, you know how guys always hype that shit up? Like, he was probably over there like, I fucking fucked her. And then she's over there like, I hate her. Because he probably, she probably thought I was over there laying her man out. When in reality, I didn't do anything but kiss the guy. But anyway, she hates me. She probably still hates me till this day. Still lurking on Instagram, though, probably. Okay, anyway, so. <laughs> we would still talk. So, he decided to go to school at another state. I'm not going to say too much information. Because I really don't want anybody to know who he is. Like, people that went high school with me. Which you guys probably already know who I'm talking about, but anyways. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I he went to school and he went somewhere out of the state. And um, this is after we graduated from high school. We still kept in touch. So at this point, me and my ex-boyfriend, we were done. We were like, this was in between like Ulises and uh, my ex-boyfriend. Um, so I had already met Ulises, but it wasn't anything serious at the time. So he went to school and I would still talk to him like literally every day. He was like, I was in a relationship with him. I was literally like in a long distance relationship with him. And he would always tell me like, oh, you know, we're gonna work out. Like, I know that you're not supposed to be with me cause you know, but I'm gonna change. I'm gonna do stuff. Cause he was kind of like a little hood, you know? <laughs> this is why I knew I would never be able to bring him home. You know, I needed to bring like a good boy to my house that was gonna be good, but I want a little thug in me, you know? Literally. <laughs> I'm kidding. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> so, so, when he left out over there, you know, I was like, okay, well, let's just talk. Let's just see where it goes. Let's just see how things work out. So, I was like, okay, literally invested like six months, dude. Six months into just talking to this guy. And I was like, I'm going to be single. You already know us girls were fucking faithful as fuck all the time. Like we're sitting here con pendejas always waiting for the guy to come home. Yeah. When in reality, they're probably doing some stupid shit. But anyways, he ended up telling me like when I get home, like we're going to be good. Um, Things are going to get better. And I honestly was like, okay. You like, believed him? Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to give it a chance. Okay. I was like, let me try. Let me try to give it a chance. What's the worst that could happen? 
Mike Griffin's probably gonna be pissed as fuck because he hated he hated him. So I was like, whatever. I'm just. He was the one that you were like, don't worry about him. It's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he was my. It's nothing. He's just my friend. But on the low, I was over there messing around with him. That's another story. <laughs> but I know that he would have been really upset if he found out that I dated him. But honestly, I, I he was a really really nice guy like he, he was in trouble from what i thought but he was still a fuck boy for sure so then he ends up telling me like i'm gonna come down and i'm gonna visit so he would come and he would visit we'd hang out like everything was like we were dating like he would leave i'd be sad i was like oh you're leaving but it's okay we'll keep in touch when you get back he was on a program for two years so i knew that when he came back, yeah, I was like, I'm willing to wait though. Like legit. two years, legit. I was waiting to, I was willing to wait. I'm like, whatever. And it wasn't like I was in love with this guy or anything. There was no love word exchanged in this relationship at all. I don't just go around throwing the I love you to anybody, you know. Except you guys, I love you guys all. But men and stuff like that, I've never just thrown the I love you out like that. Um, so I told him I was like, I'll wait. I'll, I'll be down you know like, to wait for you so then months pass by and then i go to the asparagus festival so that's the festival that they have here in stockton and i ran into a couple of friends people that knew him people that were around him so then i see this girl that i went to high school with and we were really good friends and i was like hey girl how you been da, 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 da. and she's like oh my god how are you i was like good and then i don't know how the conversation ended up coming up but I was talking to her and I was like, oh, like, are you still dating so-and-so? And then she was like, no. She was like, dude, I'm actually dating. I'm going to name him Steven. She's like, dude, I'm actually dating Steven. Mind you, I'm fucking dating Steven, okay? I was like, what the fuck do you mean you're dating Steven, you know? So I didn't tell her that. I was like, oh, really? I was like, that's legit. That's cool, you know? I felt kind of more bad. information as much as possible. Yeah, like I wasn't going to be like, what the fuck? You know, I was like, oh, how long have you guys been talking for? He was like, oh, well, since he left his school, I've been talking to him like literally every day. I was like, so you see him like every time he comes down and stuff? And then he, she was like, yeah, she's like, we always spend time together. I'm over here trying to calculate like what times were, was I getting and what times was she getting? Because what the fuck is going on at this point, you know? So then she's like, yeah, I see him all the time. And I was like, low-key sad. I was like, am I really getting played right now? Like, this cannot be happening. So then when that happens, I didn't even tell the girl. And I honestly feel bad. Because, I mean, as girls, you should definitely, like, have each other's back. You know, I should have been like, dude, he's fucking cheating on you. And he's been talking to me this whole time. Or he's fucking cheating on me and talking to you the whole time. Whatever, you know. We were both getting played. But I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say anything. I just left. I was just like, oh, that's cool. Like, congrats good for you left it at that and then excuse me i ended up texting him and i ended up like not even asking i just went off on him i was like you're a fucking dog you're a little player like i'm over here thinking like metines como pendeja over here fucking waiting for you to come back i could have been been done fucking dating whoever the hell i wanted i'm over here waiting like a dumbass you know so then se quedo así you know so i was like whatever so then he ends up hitting me up on snapchat like a month later and he's like trying to talk to me, trying to say something, trying to like talk to me again. And I was like, dude, like we're done. Like I can't trust you. I don't believe anything that you're saying anymore. You're a fucking liar. Men are dogs, you know? I already had a dog as a, as a boyfriend. I was a husband. As a boyfriend, I wasn't going to go from one fuck boy to another fuck boy and keep getting my ass cheated on every damn time that I get in a damn relationship, you know? Like that's exhausting it's exhausting to freaking get played you know that feeling when you already know that your man's a fuckboy and then it's like they hear they say oh i saw steven and then it's like your stomach right away hurts because you already know it's something bad how sad is that that was my life with my ex-boyfriend and with that guy anytime people would be like oh i saw juan oh i saw steven i would be like oh great like my stomach would boil and i'd be like and what happened oh nothing i just saw him and i'm over here thinking the worst like they're probably gonna tell me that they ran into some girl and they were making out all this stuff like that was my life before so i was not trying to be that girl anymore so then um when he hits me up i ended up going to dinner with a really one of my good one of my really good friends her name is jenny shout out to you jenny love you babe 
that's my girl she's like my one and only friend in the entire planet that even if i don't see her every day which i don't even see her every day i probably see her like twice a year but she's like my girl like i know that she's always gonna be there no matter what and when we catch up it's like she never left even yes just yesterday i was texting her and then mm -hmm. yvette's like you still talk to her and i was like yeah dude like she's there and at any like special time in my life but whatever i'm talking too much so i was with her and then she started telling me she was like yeah i was just talking to him and guess what he's like you know his girl's pregnant right yes <laughs> what i was like mind you this was a month okay of that i wasn't talking with him and then i was like what the fuck and then i went back to the girl from the spurious festival and you know i was like he got her pregnant i was like when you know i was like what the hell's going on and then jenny's like no dude like so and so it was an ex-girlfriend of his and then he was like she's pregnant I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I was like, what do you mean she's pregnant? How many months? She's like, she's about to be two. Like a seven, like eight months pregnant, okay? And I'm over here like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, you yes. were inside. I was. From two girls. There was three girls involved in this whole equation. Mind you, he's being smart because he's fucking away, from, away to school. Over here, Maluma. Yeah. Like, we ain't gonna be fucking felices los cuatro. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, I just got played. Not once, but twice. And the bitch is pregnant. I was like, how did this happen? You know, so when he was snapping me and stuff, I ended up sending him a snap. And I was like, congratulations, like, on your baby me being a smartass. Dude, he felt so stupid. Like, he was legit apologizing to me and saying, like, honestly, you didn't deserve any of that. It was an accident. I didn't think that it was gonna happen, but... I have to step up and be a dad now. Wait. You're only saying that because you caught him. You know, of course. I'm like, when you snapped me freaking three days ago, tell me how cute I was. You didn't say like, <laughs> oh, you look so cute. I'm good. I'm having a daughter. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Do you on. think he probably would have mentioned it if Jenny wouldn't have? Probably no. He, he probably would have just stopped talking to me. He probably would have just stopped talking to me. And that would have been it, you know? And I was like, why? why do men do this why and think that they're not gonna get caught because they're dumbass like we're, we're us girls we're fucking like cia agents oh my god i was just saying that yesterday like cia the cia fbi fbi's there's another one called c something csi csi no that's a show <laughs> oh, <laughs> i don't know what it is but anyways FBI. You work for the CIA. Yeah, CIA, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, guys, I was like legit heartbroken. And ever since then, like, I would see him occasionally. He ended up moving back home, and I would still see him occasionally. Like, he would go down to I used to work at Wells Fargo, and he would go to the bank, cash his checks and stuff. And I would see him, and it was just weird. Like, it was just weird seeing him. Like, it was hard not to hold a grudge but i didn't like i would still say hi and i would still be like how are you you know I, I didn't hate him for it i feel like maybe because i wasn't emotionally invested Involved. yeah that's why it didn't hurt i felt more like i felt stupid it was a slap in the face and it made me realize like no wonder i knew that you were no good girls listen to your freaking instincts like if you know that this boy's not bad not good for you half of the time you're probably right He's probably no fucking good for you, so just let it go. Because I honestly didn't give it my all for that reason. Because I knew that some shit like this would happen. And not once, but fucking twice. <laughs> Getting a girl pregnant, that's to another level. Oh my god, I know. I give, honestly, I give props to girls who are with men that have had children. Because, man, this is like a whole different other topic, but... I honestly give you guys props if you guys are dealing with being in a relationship with someone who has a baby mama because baby mama drama I mean not always you know a lot of the time if you do find a woman that is willing to compromise the relationship you're sharing with somebody else but it's hard work I'm sure I've never experienced it for myself but I've had people around me experience it and it's not easy at all so props to you guys because I wouldn't I honestly feel like unless i already have my kids and we're already older and they have kids and then we join together that's a little different but 
being young, being 20, 21 years old, 22 years old, and then dealing with a man who already has a kid or even the other way around, it's a lot of work. And that both is... parties. And a lot of and a lot from the women and I feel like men don't realize how much they're putting in that at risk, you know, to like feel good about themselves and their relationship because they're always gonna have to deal with baby mama tripping, baby mama this or yep. just everything, you know? So if you guys are dealing with any of that stuff, props to you guys because I honestly feel like I would never be able to do that. Same. And that's why when he got his girl pregnant, I was like, Okay, there's never any hope for us. Negative at all. today, Satan. At all. But yeah, that was my story time. You have any other story times? Well I eat now, my food's cold. What? So while I eat now, my food's cold. No, I have a very boring life. Well, Yvette's never really been in like a serious relationship. Unless she lives a happy life. <laughs> very. Like she said, I've had talked to guys, but nothing serious. Thank God. Mm hmm And I always tell her, I'm like, when are you going to find a boyfriend? She was like, the fuck you mean? I'm going to be 21 years old. I am not about to be settling nope. down with nobody. <laughs> not right now. Probably until I'm like 26. Okay, that's my age. I know. That's perfect. I think like 23, 24. Find a boyfriend at least by then. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't do anything for me to find a boyfriend. I'm always with her. I told her I was like, Blanca, I'm pregnant. I know, she told me today. <laughs> I was like, from who? La obra del Espíritu Santo? I was like, I go out. She was like, no, I told her, I was like, you don't know what I do on my free time? I was like, you do me on your free time. You're with me. I was like, unless we're pregnant and you have to tell me something, <laughs> let me know because you're with me most of your time. And then she was like, oh shit, I am, huh? But honestly, this story time, mukbang, mukbang. 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 I need to know what the fuck they're called. Mukbang. 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 <laughs> okay, we're being racist. I know that was. Stop fun. it. <laughs> mukbang. Mukbang. I call it mukbang. 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 Um, we um love to do them, but we just need to figure out like topics and stuff that we can talk about because relationships that's like the main focus that i feel like we're pretty good at at least i'm pretty good at i feel like i can give some good relationship advice because i've been through some fucking shit that me said diga that i'm just like oh my god i feel like i've been through it all but i think we should definitely ask some questions in the comments below that you guys might have for us or even just questions in general um relationship advice or anything like that so we can start making videos out of that because that would be fun that would be fun i don't know how people eat so much i'm already full like i'm in the food coma well yeah you ate i haven't even eaten i haven't even eaten I'm like picking up my food is it eaten or ate i haven't even ate i haven't eaten? even eaten Eight. No, because eight is past tense. I haven't even eaten. I haven't even eaten. I haven't even ate. I haven't even. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's eight. I haven't even ate anything. Mm -hmm. I haven't even eaten anything. I guess probably eaten slang. Right. Right. But yeah, this was a little different for us. We should do buffalo wild wings snacks. Just buy like a wing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some fries? Some fries. We were gonna do Olive Garden, but Olive Garden doesn't taste the same when you do takeout. I like to enjoy Olive Garden at the restaurant. But by the time we get here, it's already cold. Mm hmm. So it's All like, the time. Yeah. There's like no more sauce. It's like yeah. dry as fuck. We'll just start ordering some stuff on the side. For sure. But that was my quick little story time for you guys. If you guys have ever experienced anything like this, definitely let me know. Because I was definitely scarred and shook for a couple of months of my life. Oh, you've been through so much. I have, dude. I'm sorry. You know I even dated a guy that had a wife. <laughs> I know. Remember? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Remember, dude. Yeah. 
guess we have another story time. But I hope you guys enjoyed oh. this video. <laughs> <laughs> You're ugly. What are you thinking about? I'm like, okay. What are you thinking about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? <laughs> Don't be like. <laughs> Um, this is gonna be the end of our video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed eating here with us um, From now on I'm gonna tell you guys when I have muk uh, muk bang videos and um, Have you guys bring out your food so we can all have food at the dinner table and eat But yes, because when I watch mukbangs, I hate it because like I always watch them late at night Me too. too. And I'm over there starving yesterday I sent Willie's sis to go to Jack in the Box <laughs> to go get me a sandwich at like 11 Tell me why he came home and I didn't even eat. Because I took my prenatal right uh, before so in Medioasco. So I was like, oh my, Ulises got here and he was like, are you fucking serious? You're not hungry anymore? I was like, dude, I feel nauseous. But yeah, I always get hungry at night. But yeah, this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Love you guys. Bye.